Hi everyone, my name is Bogdan and welcome to Accurate Dicta channel, helping you to navigate in the world of automotive repairs, maintenance and reviews. And the awful goatee strikes back by popular demand. Do you like your car looking great from all sides and angles? Have you noticed how crappy, rusty brakes totally ruin the overall perception of what's otherwise a perfectly looking vehicle? Then this video is for you. One of the relatively quick and easy ways to make your brakes pop visually is to paint the calipers. Here you usually have two options. Either find a service that does it and pay around 100 bucks for the procedure, or do it yourself, spending about $30 on materials. The advantage of the paid service is it being hassle-free. You just drop your car off and then pick it up whenever it's done. I've done that once. The job was done more or less decently. I wanted them painted in red, and the result looked great. Guys also painted the brake rotor caps in black free of charge. However, the downside was that there was a lot of overspray, because they're usually moving quickly and they don't really have much time for proper masking. That translated in some red overspray over black adjacent panels. Also, the closest place that provides the service is about 45 minutes away from my place, so an hour and a half both ways. So the next time I wanted to refresh them, I decided to do it myself. The color I chose this time was black. And I can assure you, it's an easy task anyone can handle. Let's roll! Here's a list of items you need to complete this job. As usual, links to everything I use are in the description. One piece of sanding paper. One can of brake caliper spray paint. It's enough to paint four calipers. One can of clear coat if you want to protect the paint and make it last longer. Brake cleaner. Paper towel. I've also obtained a set of Acura decals, which make brakes look even better. Optionally, you can use a drill with a paint stripping bit, that's what I did. And since you're working with a lot of dust and spray paint, I suggest using face mask and protective glasses. Some plastic bags with paint, mask and tape. Let's begin with checking up the car and taking wheels off. I suggest having two wheels off at the same time, so you could paint another caliper while the other one is drying up. This is the front caliper. As you can see, this is my previously applied red paint, which looks pretty beat up after 3 years. Let's strip it. You don't really need to grind it down to the bare metal everywhere, plus it's not worth the effort. However, prepping is the most important part of any paint job. I'll do what I can. Have it doused with brake cleaner to remove any dust, dirt and debris. Wipe it off with a paper towel. Once most of the paint and rust is stripped, work it with a sanding paper to roughen the surface and prepare it for accepting paint. Next step is to mask it. Mask any rubber parts, any exposed parts of the brake pads and any ventilation holes that lead into the caliper. Of course, the most proper way to do it would be to take the entire caliper off, including the bracket. But we are not going to bother this time. I'll leave this exercise for another case. I also like to mask the brake rotor, which you don't have to. But in my case, the rotor caps are silver color, and I don't want any black paint on it. One final spray with the caliper cleaner, which should remove any outstanding oils and dirt, and prepare it for painting. I suggest turning your wheels outwards to the side you're painting. This will give you better exposure. Time for the first coat. Make it light, preferably. It's fine if it's really thin. 
work in sweeping motions about 3 to 5 inches away from the surface. Try to cover everything evenly. Depending on the ambient temperature and humidity, leave it to dry for anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Time for a second coat. As I mentioned before, work on another caliper while this one is drying to make the process more efficient. Try to complete one caliper in around one hour overall. And the third one. Let's attach those Acura decals now. If you have them or any other decals, be careful. You can only attach them once properly, so make sure they are aligned correctly. Once these are attached, Let's get a couple of clear coat transparent layers to protect the fresh paint and decals. One. Two. And three. And repeating the same process for the rear caliper. As I advised in the beginning, it's better to do them in twos, so you're not wasting any time between coats drying. The paint should fully cure within 24 hours, 
and it helps to bake them by either placing the car under direct sunlight in hot environments or driving it around. Breaking process will also complete the baking. Try not to expose it to rain within the first 24 hours and do not wash the car. Done! Let's have a look at the final results. Not ideal, but way better than before. Well, there you go. I told you it would be easy and straightforward. The calipers look great now. Should be good for about two years. I hope this was helpful to you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below and hit that subscribe and bell buttons for more videos on this channel. And as always, drive safe, use return signals and remember, anything is possible with the right tools and motivation. See you next time!